one of my videos from Miranda asking if I can show her how to trace Chip from Beauty and the Beast. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going into Google, and I just Google Chip Beauty and the Beast clip art. So you don't really want one like, see these images that are really shaded, have like a million colors. If you can get one that's more coloring book-ish, it'll be a lot easier to trace. So I'm actually just going to take this first one. She didn't specify what pose she wanted them in. I think this is pretty standard. So we'll do a copy. And just bring it into Inkscape and paste it. I'm going to make this bigger. If you hold your control button when you scroll your wheel on your mouse, you'll zoom. Or you'll uh, drag it out proportionally. It won't get out of shape. So now we have him pretty big. We'll go to Path. Trace. The colors, he's got quite a few colors in him, but I don't think we really need eight. We'll see. Check the colors box. I uncheck smooth. If you leave smooth on, it's going to get too simplified. And check remove background so you don't have a white background behind him. When you do live preview, we definitely have everything we need, but I don't think we need quite as much as we have. So I start dropping the colors down until I lose something that I want. So I go down to 8, from, from 8 to 7, all I lost was this little piece there. I'm fine with that being the same color. 6, we lost this red in his mouth, which again is fine. Uh, now 5, we start losing actual colors. So I'm going to put it back to 6. You can do this however you want. For me, that's acceptable. That's enough colors. If you want more detail, you can make the colors higher. It just makes a little more work for you later. So hit OK. So now, sitting on top of our original file, we have the SVG. See, it's hollow. There's no white. This one, he's all white. His, his body is white. So this is the one we aren't going to use. All I'm going to use that for is the colors. I'm just going to stick it over there. When I do this, I have my original image on the left, this is just the way I organize. I have the working one over here, and the final one is going to go in the box. So what I want to do is split the layers up here. You can either go to Object, Ungroup, or you can just double click anywhere in him, in any of his colors, and it'll ungroup them. Now this one actually split up really, really nice. This is exactly what we want, this coloring book sort of image. And then you have all these other layers that you're really not going to need because we have this one. See, like, you don't want this, this yellow handle, but you don't want your yellow layer to look like this. That's way too much. You're going to be wasting all this vinyl, and you're going to be layering things on top of each other six times. It's, it's going to be a mess. So we're just going to delete all of these layers. So now we have this one. And we're going to make all of these colored shapes. And this one will eventually turn into the background piece, the solid black background. So before you start filling in colors, always make sure you click off of the item. If he's um, highlighted, if there's a box around him and you try to fill, it's going to turn him a different color, which is not what you're going for. So we're going to undo that. Control-Z undoes the last thing you did. So click off of him. Then click on your little fill tool, your paint bucket. And I'm just going to pick some colors. So first I'm going to do this yellow here. So let's go find a yellow. Kind of goldish. And we're just going to fill in all the pieces that are yellow on him. Now, when you go to your selector tool, what you want to do is select all of these pieces. If there's a lot of them, the easiest way to do it is to just move Oops. move the background layer out of the way and drag a box around all of those pieces and you can do control plus plus which is the same as union control plus plus all of your keyboard shortcuts are down the right side of your menus I don't like using menus if I don't have to so now we have our black piece still this when you're cutting this would be one layer that's going to be your gold layer if your colors are not perfect while you're doing this, it doesn't matter. All that matters is what colors you eventually cut them out of. So next I will do this purple. Again, I clicked off of everything. Hit the paint bucket. And 
then I'll go find the purple. It's a pretty good color. Maybe a little darker, but we'll see. And again, so now, this time I don't really need to keep moving them out of the way. There's only two pieces, so I'm just gonna, one of them is selected. If you hold shift and select the other one, they're now both selected. Control plus plus. And that's our purple layer. They go right in there somewhere. We'll move them around at the end. And I'll go grab this pinky purple color. And that's those two leaves. Again, shift. Click on the other one. You see the boxes around both? Drag that in there. And now we need these little blue leaves. So we'll come back. We'll grab a nice bright blue. This one is going to be harder to get in, so you might want to zoom in. If you hit control and then scroll with your wheel on your mouse, it'll zoom you in a little. Both of them, control plus plus. Bring that over here. So I'm just kind of creating my image as I go, and then at the end, it'll all be together for us in one nice place. Next, we need his mouth. This, like, burgundy piece in his mouth. If you, when you're going to cut this, if you don't want this many colors, because there's quite a few colors in this thing, you can simplify it as much as you want. You don't have to cut that piece. You can leave it black if you want. Just because it's there, I'm going to make it. But you can make it as simple or complicated as you want. I want like a burgundy-ish, a dark, dark burgundy. So you cut that piece. Not sure exactly where that one's gonna go yet, so I'm gonna leave that one out so he doesn't get buried. I'll show you what I mean later. And then we're gonna make a little pink. I don't like that color. Oh, right, that's better. So now that piece. See, if I put this here and then I drag the, the whole solid background piece on top of it. It's going to be hard to find this little piece, so I'm just going to leave this out for now. We'll put them in after. We'll put them on top. So now we need the actual white, this whole white body and the white behind his eyes. Just, I don't, when I'm doing a white layer, I don't make it white while I'm working, because then you can't see it and you lose pieces. So I always start with it gray, and then after it's in place, I make it white. I'm going to have to zoom in to get the whites of his eyes, because they're little. all of our white pieces and this one there's a lot of little pieces so this one I'm going to move him out of the way. Just draw a box around all the white pieces, combine them together and bring that over. Okay. Now I can put these in here. Now I see how it's behind this? If I put it in the wrong place and then I brought that gray piece in, it would be hard to figure out where this piece went. We're just going to put that in after the fact. And now I can turn this gray piece white because he's going to stay there. Now the only thing missing is the black piece. And what we're going to do for the black piece, we're going to turn this solid. The problem we're going to have with this is when we turn it solid, and I'll show you, is keep your eye on this little piece right here. We want that to stay hollow. You don't want that to be a color. It's actually supposed to be a space. But when you do this, you go to Path, Break Apart, and then Path Union. It'll give you your solid shape. But we lost that, and you want that. So I'm going to undo this for a second. Control Z. So before I do that, I'm actually going to make a piece for this shape. It'll make sense in a second. Just follow me here. They make it just any color at all, just random. Fill in that piece. Now just keep that somewhere safe. We also need to get rid of this. See this down here? Oh, I probably should show you how I'm doing that. If you're on him, if you go to the node editor, this is the selector tool that'll just draw a box around and you can drag them around or whatever. This tool is to edit the actual nodes, all the little cut points. So if you click on that, or if you double click on any of his lines, it'll do the same thing. Just drag a box around any nodes you don't want, and delete. 
Now we have to go back to the selector tool. So now that I have this little cutout, now we're going to do what I just did before. Path, break apart, path, union. So now you have this nice solid background here. We're going to put this behind where we want them. Right about there. And now this, we're going to slice out of this. So if you lay this on top where you want it, You have to select the black piece to slice this out of. The easiest way to do this when there's this much going on is to go back to this. Go back to your node editor. Now you see, I'm going to scroll in real far here. See how you have all of the nodes on the little cutout piece? Hold shift and select something that's solid black like his eyes. And that'll give you the whole shape. Now we're going to go path, difference. And see what that did. Now it's hollow. Now it's actually cut out. And there you have, we might want to move some of these pieces around a little. Make them fit a little better. But again, you're going to be cutting it, so you're going to have to layer it yourself. And there's your chip. We don't need him anymore. Um, you can group all these pieces together if you want. You don't really have to, but you do have to save it. You would go to save as. I always save it as a plain SVG if I'm going to bring it into de um, design space. Save it as a plain SVG. We'll just call it chip. And now, I'll take this a step further and show you. If you go into design space, create a new project. Go to upload images. Now we want chip. And he looks exactly like he's supposed to. And now when you bring him in, if you look at your layers, like your yellow for example, it's all of those yellow pieces all combined. They're not like itty bitty shapes all over the place that you have to then line up again and try to get together. He's already all layered. You can change the colors of anything that you don't like the color of in here and cut them out when you're all ready and he's the size you want and you'll get each of your color layers. So there is your chip. Uh, I hope that that was helpful and uh, any other questions feel free to leave them on my uh, on the video. I will try to take requests where I can. And uh, you can subscribe to me, and then you'll see all the new videos that I make. Have a great day.